Hello, welcome to Tech Cover IT Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade RAM and uh, hard drive in Lenovo ThinkPad. The model is T430, uh, but uh, most of the T series laptops, uh, like uh, later generations, third generation, second generation, T430, T420, T520, T530, the RAM upgrade and the hard drive up upgrade will be the same. So now we can see this is Lenovo ThinkPad T430. Uh, first of all, I have to show you how to uh, upgrade the RAM. So uh, you have to remove uh, this back side. Here is a part. There are two screws. Open the screws. So I'm opening the first screw and then I have to remove the second one so the screws are not completely removable you have to just uh, open it and um, until you uh, feel that it's open uh, then after that you have to just remove the back side the part of it and it is removed so now you can see we have one slot of RAM here so this is only one slot uh, I'll show you uh, where is the other slot in these models the second slot is a bit uh, hidden so you have to open two more screws of the keyboards you can see in here the, uh, there's a sign for the keyboard so one screw is here one screw is here so don't touch these screw this one or that one just this one and this one we have to open so let's just open this one first so I have to open this one sorry so I have to open this screw now this is a long screw it is removed now I have to remove the other one as well so this is another screw now I have to rotate the laptop and I have to open it here now I have to remove the keyboard in order to uh, access the second RAM slot it is under the keyboard so first of all don't forget to remove the screws when the screws are removed use anything flat or which can be like you know narrow with the tip so that you can remove the um, uh, keyboard with be careful with it just uh, um, force it on the other side a bit and you will see the keyboard will leave a lot of space and then you have to force it uh, a bit up um, on the top and it's removed so just be careful with the keyboard strip as well it's it is uh, fixed here like don't push it so hard so uh, that you can destroy the um, uh, strip of it so you can see this is the second slot of the ram so i'm just removing it in order to confirm how much ram it has now so I want a 4 GB in there so yeah it's a 4 GB and you guys can see that uh, the RAM uh, required for Lenovo T430 it's a third generation a bit older generation so it is PC3 not PC3L and it is S at the end so 128 um, uh, 100 and then s at the end so this is the memory uh, i'm gonna use because i have another box here of ram which has 4 gb ram and this is exactly the same uh, ram i'm using so 1r and 2r do uh, doesn't matter uh, um, until and unless the frequency is the same so the frequency is the same in this case and it's pc3 pc3 so they'll work so i have to put back this ram and so technically this laptop has a 4 gb of ram so i just removed the um, keyboard in order to show you where is the ram but in your case if you know that you have already 4 gb ram in your laptop let's say you turn on the laptop you go to the configuration menu and you see that there is 4 gb ram then you don't have to remove the keyboard and uh, check the ram inside because if you don't have a ram stick here and you have 4 gb in your system so 100 percent it's this one so you have to just open this part and uh, insert a 4 gb ram and you 
will have uh, uh, 8 GB RAM so yeah that's it so I have to put back the keyboard so it's 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 easy uh, but a bit tricky you have to just uh, keep the keyboard on that end and force it at that end and now you can see it goes down but still you have to you have to um, push it hard in order to confirm that the clips are goes in properly so this one is still uh, this one still needs a bit uh, force I'll go this way and okay yeah it's 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 okay now so you have to push it on the back like on this side towards you uh, together so use your uh, nails or maybe something which for uh, something which is not so hard so that uh, not leave the scratches on the laptop so it's done now I, I have to rotate it I have to put back the screws and then I'll show you how to put the hard drive so this laptop had uh, a 500 GB but I've removed it and I put a operating system on it so I will put it back in the laptop and just in order to show you guys as well how to remove and add the hard drive in T430 or T series mostly older generations uh, Lenovo so I have to put back the screws and just be careful with the clips don't break it this is done I have to insert the battery because I am done with the battery part and now I have to open this screw you can see uh, under these USB ports there is like this is the whole jacket like the whole caddy for the hard drive so now I have to open it be careful with it this is a bit tricky as well don't break the slots it is removed inside there is a rubber so that must be for the hard drive so I have to add the rubber but I don't have to if you have like a slim uh, and a thinner hard drive then you can put these uh, mm, these rubbers uh, on the sides of the hard drive and then insert it but in my case the hard drive is a bit thicker so I don't need that and I'm sure it's gonna be uh, fixed in the laptop so I have to force it a bit because the hard drive is a bit thicker but in your case if the hard drive is not thicker oh I have a slim one as well so I'll use that one in order to show you guys properly so it is ready as well it is 500 GB and it has the operating system so I have to put rubber on one side and rubber on the other side and then I have to insert another important thing you have to look in the uh, hard drive slot and see that uh, how like which side you have to put the hard drive so I can see that I have to make this thing toward my left so I have to rotate the hard drive and put it inside now I have to force it carefully because I don't want to damage the slot inside now you can see when it crosses the USB ports then it is inserted properly now I have to put back the uh, slot the the the, uh, the hard drive caddy so now you guys can see uh, it's a bit tricky as well so you have to uh, put in these two sides first so let's see the, these are inserted properly when these are inserted then you have to push it from this side and once yeah and once it's it is fixed and aligned then you have to put the screw back and good to go our laptop is ready so uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video uh, if you like it uh, please uh, share the video like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you bye